All right, so I'm assuming at this point everybody's seen Mary Poppins, at least one version of it, the original of or course. the remake of it. I mean, I don't remember it, but I had seen uh, it. Well, there was another one that just came out a couple of years ago. I didn't see that one. You didn't show that one to your kids? It's a good movie. No. All right, anyway, I have to go fast because I really want to get to a story at the end of the newscast, and Rachel says if we take too much time in weather, we can't do it. So, maybe so Todd's here. Okay. Wait, what does that have to do with Mary Poppins? I know, then why would we just divert on Mary well, Poppins? Because I started, then I realized I have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? I'm, what just happened? <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyways, you can fill us in later on this Mary Poppins tangent. <laughs> oh, because of the rain and the umbrellas and everything? All right. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Look at all this <laughs> rain coming our way. Um, this is where we get into it. This is like the meat and potatoes. It's still hours away. But we're starting to see some of the outer bands, like these showery bands working off of the Gulf of Maine. Um, you can see some down in York County about to move into the Midcoast. A few just moved through the Oxford Hills and are moving through them. Had a downpour right over uh, Long Lake and over Thompson Lake, and now they're up into the Oxford Hills. So occasionally you're going to get drenched for like 10 minutes, and then you catch a break, and then another one fills in for a few minutes. And that'll be the case for the first half of the day before those steadier rain bands finally get to us, and we just get into that heavier downpour situation. Temps are in the 40s. The wind is picking up. Chloe's out live this morning, and you could hear uh, the wind kind of hitting her microphone, and it's starting to gust a little bit. So for the first time this year, not because I want to show you this, but just to give you an idea, it feels colder than it actually is. It feels like 30s in a lot of towns. Low pressures redeveloping off the coastline. This is going to take a funky track up to Nantucket, left hand turn to Montauk, back to Nantucket, and then out to sea. To do that little loop, it takes time. In fact, two days. So rain and wind for the next two days. Showers fill in during the morning, varying intensities, some light, some on the heavier side, some not falling at all. So you'll have, you know, some breaks of from the rain a little bit this morning. Chilly breeze starts to pick up midday and it'll gust pretty strong this afternoon and through the night. Relentless bands of rain start working in. They pretty much stop at Route 2. So south of Route 2, steady heavy rain. North of it, very little if anything. Please drive safely these next two days. The daylight is really shortened now. Sunrise is later, sunset is earlier. There are leaves on the ground, they're wet, they're slippery. We haven't had a storm like this yet. Just tap the brakes a little bit more often. Uh, tomorrow through the day, we're still dealing with some of these downpours, although the showers start to let up a little bit and then they finally shift out to sea tomorrow afternoon. Back to Thursday, we get some sunshine, finally. Sunshine Thursday and Friday. Rain amounts of two to four inches expected. Most of the heavy downpours get in Massachusetts, but some sneak up to about Portland. This is where we could have some drainage flooding issues, especially with clogged drains from leaves that are coming down. We'll watch the rivers. They should make it through this one okay. Uh, very little rain north of Bangor. Look, Bangor gets an inch, but Millinocket, nothing. Caribou, nothing. Greenville, nothing at all. The wind is a bigger concern, probably because of the time of the year. Leaves still on trees, ground wet and soft. You know, in the middle of the winter, you get a 50 mile an hour gust. You're likely not uprooting a tree because the ground is solid. It's like in cement. But when it's soft and wet and you get a 50 mile an hour gust, it's a different story. You could easily get a tree to uproot and we're likely going to see some power outages. I don't think they're super widespread, but there will certainly be some and the most probable places to get them will be along the coastline. Later tonight, we'll see gusts in the 40s, perhaps to 50 miles per hour. And then the wind slowly relaxes and dies off during the day tomorrow, and things get a lot better by the afternoon. Gale watches today through tomorrow evening. Seas growing today, winds picking up through the day too, gusting to 40 knots out of the northeast. Rain and wind through the night. Tomorrow starts to taper off. It'll be better in the afternoon, but cold days only in the upper 40s, close to 50. Sunshine's back on Thursday. Friday looks good, upper 50s. And then Halloween weekend. You know, we've got Saturday night plans and Sunday night plans. Saturday night plans, not good. Heavy rainfall. Sundays for the little guys and the trick or treaters should be dry for them. And actually, not too cold either. I mean, once the sun goes down, you know, the temp's going to drop to around 50, and that's chilly, but it could be a lot worse this time of the year. And daytime temps get up to about 60. I'll sugar it up. School on Monday. Perfect. Sounds, <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> All right, sir. Thank you very much.